Okay, broken long swords. <laughs> it's all terrible. But two added weapons will let me break things. And they do a lot of damage. So I'll take what I can get. Alright, and let us try that again. Alright, so where do we want to go? Last time, we definitely want stats. Stats are good. Healing is not, though. So maybe we go gold, mystery, weapon, stat, stat. Upgrade, upgrade. I like the idea of that. Is he fighting the dead gods or getting helped by them? Can't tell. You know, that's a good point. I don't know if we're really getting helped by them. I think we're mostly trying to curry favor, but... And this is why I like the big weapons. It's also why I should have my torch out. I'm going to hurt myself otherwise. Well, I'm going to hurt myself. I'm going to get hurt. Yeah, the big weapons... weapons are handy. Extra damage in darkness. Now, let's, let's just get the free perception. Extra damage in darkness is real good. But I'm probably going to replace that. Uh, maybe, maybe I should have picked that up. I don't know. And this is why one of those heavy weapons. Now we can come in here and get something. A bow. A bow that is pretty bad, actually. Let's just remove... Corruption. Yeah, the gods are only at your side if you appease them. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. They... they counter a lot. And their combo is so dang good. Okay, I wonder if there's a benefit to doubling back. Never mind, I can't double back. Never... doesn't matter. Okay, I don't see any loot here. So we get cash and reduce gold offering cost. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, let's see. Is this like Hades? Kinda. This is like... So Hades went more of a, a spectacle fighter, uh, high speed... Oh, shoot. I need to hurt myself. I don't think I'm going to be able to hurt myself in here, am I? Okay. So we want to go for the unknown. Yeah, because I'm not I'm not getting my uh, my bonus stats here. Are the bonus stats worth the risk though? That I'm not sure about. So what's the icon in the center do? It tells you if you're in the light or the darkness. Light does a couple of really useful things. You take more damage in darkness. You take more damage in darkness. Hunting axes. Extra damage against weakened enemies. Or lose the corruption. Honestly, offer it to the gods. I used hunting axes last time. I liked the idea of them. Actual execution was... Who knows. 
I liked the idea of the range. Extra to all healing effects. Yes. Okay. But yeah, you take less damage in the light, and there are certain buffs uh, that scale. You also don't see traps in darkness. Uh, take more damage in darkness. But I guess that's take less damage in the light. Ow! There we go. Uh, let's see. Keep burning that corruption. Might as well. Uh, but we had a trinket earlier, for example, that gave me uh, bonus damage in darkness, which I probably should have picked up because that's actually really good. I just... I got lured in by the promise of permanent stat points. Speaking of... Permanent stat points? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How does corruption work? How do you get it? So, you get 20 corruption automatically. Yeah, I'm not... I think I might want to get rid of that, uh, constitution thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, corruption, you get 20 baseline every time you go through a door. Uh, you can remove it with certain things, usually by getting rid of items. Uh, but you can also get rid of it. Uh, certain weapons have the ability to get rid of it, which is one of the ones that I kind of prefer. Really hoping I'd hit the archer. To some degree, I'm still torn on whether or not I, I want to sack down to half health to get the free point of constitution constantly. Okay, so what do we got here? Bow. Removes corruption for every enemy killed. Extra damage while in the light. Not super interested. Main weapon throwing. Damage based on distance. Chance to inflict lightning. I mean, my perception is pretty good. These aren't atrocious. I like this. Because, yeah, that gives me a little bit of healing and potentially a bunch of damage. I gotta find a whip and that gets me even more. That should work out. Alright, and attributes. Because I just, I want to have high stats here. I think I'm, I think I'm going to get rid of the, oh, you know what? We should go for the plus two perception every time I do a gold reward. There we go. Now I heal 20 per kill. And not much, but on a... On my base weaponry? That's incredible. Ow, I tried rolling through that. It did not track. This will keep, this will keep the damage off for a while. Oops. Don't actually want to put the torch away. I kind of wish I could actually have torches as, like, an offhand weapon. 
But I guess that could be kind of strong. I know there's a main hand weapon that specifically lights things up. Uh, are you breaking up? Nope. It was worth a look-see, but yeah. Definitely, definitely not. That was a crazy town idea. Was that worth it? Probably not. After a pair of your main hand deals, I... gotta work on practicing my parries. Extra greed kill time limit? Yeah. Not gonna be able to make much use of it on this room. That's okay. Hello? Ten percent damage. That's expensive. Let's just go with this one. It'll pay for itself. Also, I do more damage based on perception. Humorously enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really have much of a choice here. We might want to go to the mystery and then the other upgrade. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough money for both. There he goes. Okay, so they're getting stronger. Oh, that was closer than I wanted it to be. But it's fine. Uh, let's get constitution. I would rather be Hale than Hardy. that. Stay away from you. I'm noticing we are starting to see a lot of the same room layouts here for better... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Because now I know exactly where I'm going and generally what to look for, but... Eh, I guess it also doesn't matter as much because this is so much of an action roguelike. There we go. Well, there was money there. I, the lightning might have deleted it, but I have no idea. But yeah, because it's more of an action roguelike, like, it's not so bad that the level design is kind of the same. Okay, that hurt. Okay, reduce gold offering cost. Yes. I like discounts. I like discounts a lot. Alright, can I get this one extra max HP, extra damage? It's actually cheaper to buy them individually. I guess that makes sense. Uh... So in that case, let's just go for the max HP. Because we want we want to save our dosh. I think I'm still gonna do mystery and then the upgrade. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford both. And I'm corrupted. Is this my first corruption? Oh wow, way better than the last time. Trap chests. Chests are shield. Uh, chests are sealed and trigger an attack that must be parried to unlock them. Oh. I like that that's a teaching moment. I hate the fact that that's going to hurt.
Okay. There we go. I healed 25 on kill. Oh, that's a good feeling. All right, fire attacks for perfect shots and offhand combo. Nah, let's go for the decks. And reduce the corruption. There's a very real possibility I'm going to come out of here with no curses. I don't want to go... Yeah, let's go left. I think left is always slightly better. <laughs> There we go. Gosh, that lifesteal is so good. I'm staying hale and hearty. Okay, stay away from him. Stay away from the shadow wave, because yeah, that's that's gonna curse me. I don't want anything to do with that. Alright, what else do we got here? No, how does the game change? Quality of life is the easiest way I describe it. The game just feels better. It's got a lot of minor features and upgrades that just makes it it feel uh, vastly superior to its original release. Oh. Reduced blood offering cost. I don't think I care too much about that one. Extra damage in darkness or just extra constitution. These are relics, though. Let's go back for a second. Uh, what's my inventory? So I'm actually filling up on relics here. I think I might want to save save my my juice. Go for the upgrade instead of spending on any anything else because i like those relics but we're going to be replacing them pretty quickly and enemies have a high chance of dropping relics so it'd be kind of silly to spend money on it unless it was something i absolutely had to have That curse orb thing is rude. Yeah, does your arm get more cursed as you get curses? Huh. Yeah, I just noticed that special effect. I think I just totally ignored it. Okay. Holy shit, this thing is expensive to upgrade. Do we offer blood, get a second curse? It's like four more damage. I think I'm just going to say nah to either of these. I'll just save I'll just save my juice. Wonder if you played Celeste Crown of the Magister. It's based on D&D 5e rules. They gave me a copy of it and I had skipped out on it. Cuz it looks like it was uh like the initial reviews for it were bad. And I just played, I just played, like, Baldur's Gate earlier that day, I think. It, like, it came out the same week. It just made it kind of rough. Ow. Oh, 
try that. Nah. I thought she was about to use that one. Oh. The fact that those can just turn on a dime in this exact method is just brutal. That hurt a bit. Okay. Chance to inflict poison damage. I don't... Nah. I like my mace. It's the only thing keeping me alive. So I could get three dexterity or every kill restores more stamina. Health. More health. I like the idea of it. I don't think I'm going to be using it, though. Spears are weird. And I've already got those abilities. So, yeah, let's... Let's just recycle both. So, I took some major hits there in a bad way. Go to the gold. I'll see if I can heal up here. Oh! I'm apparently not recording. Well, that sucks. Also, I'm going to turn down the sound effects. Uh, I should probably just hit the record button. I have no idea when I stopped recording. It's fine. This is why I stream. Uh, must have been when I went to go to the bathroom or something. Okay, so I can get my HP back. I just have to not take too much damage. Guess so. Peace Torch. go. There we go. There's the HP, and we've got... Oh, gosh. This place is hor horrendous looking. I don't think I was really paying attention there. How are the dice treating you today? Eh, they're okay. Decent run. Took a lot of damage on the boss because I haven't mastered her yet. bit of HP. Ugh. Okay. Steel tip talons are okay, but not great. Regain HP whenever you go through a 8% of max HP whenever you pass through a door. That's massive. On top of everything else, that's super nice. 
Whew. That's... Yeah, this just hurts. If I can make it to the end, we're good. Uh, okay, good. All right. Well, this is some shit. There's no enemies in here. Nope, there's enemies in here. All right, do or die time. I immediately choose die. Damn it. I didn't think that would reach. Well, is what it is, but also ouch. All right, this is real fun. I think I'm gonna give it some time before I play this game, and by some time, I mean like maybe a day or two. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this, but it's a little hard on my fingers. Mainly dodging. Perfect dodging is tough. I think the other thing I will want to consider is getting rid of this. The bonus five constitution at the beginning of a run is nice, but I'm not using the rest of it. Greed kills restoring more stamina is pretty good. But I think I want to go for Sachal's Treasures. Two perception every time you make a gold offering. I feel like that has the chance of scaling really deliciously. So I'm just going to go for the greed kills. Uh, isn't there a parry too? Yeah, but I'm shit at parrying. <laughs> like, I'm so bad at it. Because the thing is, parrying works different in every game. Dodging is almost always universal. Oh, this is cool. Defeat 50 elite harpies without taking damage from them. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's cool, though. I like I like that. But, yeah. This game looks hard. It is hard. But it's also in early access, so who knows where it's going to go from here. I'd love to see some accessibility options just for me and my shitty fingers. All I really need is just, like, 10% extra dodged iframes, and I think I'd be good to go. Ah, uh, but alas.